More in-depth team coverage of one of our big stories today. Southern California Gas plans to start drilling a relief well this week to finally cap an ongoing leak that's been sickening people in Porter Ranch. Before the L.A. City Council, SoCal Gas President Dennis Ariola apologized for the leak and the effect it's having on the Porter Ranch community. I'm sorry because although we worked hard to try and communicate with you what was going on to provide you accurate and timely information, we fell short. He and others confirmed they will need to drill a relief well to access the leak and cement it. That could take up to four months or more, depending on the weather. Porter Ranch resident Gabriel Canlin. We want them completely investigated. Why couldn't they stop the leak from the beginning? And what are they going to do in the future to stop such a thing? Many feel the only real solution is to completely shut down the Aliso Canyon facility. At L.A. City Hall, Margaret Carrero, KNX 1070 News Radio. Shutting all those wells down is not in the plan, says SoCal Gas. I'm Ed Mertz at the county supervisors meeting where gas company senior vice president Jimmy Cho told supervisor Mike Antonovich their only focus is the leaking well. We are going to abandon it and permanently cap and seal it. Does it ever get to the point where you have to close the entire site? At this point, that is not the case. No, I don't foresee that at all, sir. Would, would that ever be, come into the equation? I don't foresee that. Meantime, the state's top regulator says he has concerns there could be leaks in other wells, and they're examining the casings in about 20 wells, which were drilled at the same time as the leaking well. Ed Mertz, KNX 1070 News Radio. A local attorney is demanding the state take action against SoCal Gas in the wake of the Porter Ranch gas leak. R. Rex Paris, representing the group Save Porter Ranch, says SoCal Gas continues to inject natural gas underground near the lake site, and he wants the California oil and gas supervisor to issue an emergency order to put a stop to it. Paris says the sooner this happens, the better. You've got people sitting down for Thanksgiving dinner with nosebleeds. The truth of it is, is we don't know how damaging it is to them yet until we, we get the appropriate medical tests taken. And it's difficult to do that because we don't know how long they're going to be breathing it. Safe Porter Ranch is also demanding that the state supervisor immediately disclose all test data received from SoCal Gas so as to prove the state isn't somehow protecting the utility. Brian Ping, KNX 1070 News Radio.